Welcome back. I am Dave Wright. You are at Dave Wright, the capitalist YouTube channel. This is part two of me going through a site called, what is it called? Bulk, Bulk by America. Uh, part one, I manually went through my email and checked out items that you can purchase, check the profit margin on, and sell on Amazon that you don't touch. You buy these products wholesale. Today, I'm going to show you a much easier way to go through an entire catalog using a tool called Analyzer Tools. Let's hop over to the computer real quick, get started. First of all, if you're not already, please subscribe, like this video. Leave a comment below if you have questions. If you want to use this software, you have a discount code here, so you'll click on Analyzer Tools on the main page. We'll be using Jungle Scout today, along with Keepa, which is an extension here, which you can get for free, IP Alert, and uh, I think that's it, and then Analyzer Tools. I'm doing all this to promote my YouTube channel. I'm my other YouTube channel and website called Dave Wright the Thinker, which is a philosophy show. I have 103 videos here that I've archived because the audio was less than, less than, let's say below average, actually. Uh, the ideas are good, but the audio was not so good. So they're going to be called the Cross Country Files. I'm going to probably turn them into a, a book or a pamphlet and attach it to the upcoming video, which will also be an audio version that you can listen to on the go. So... Check out my YouTube channel here. Connect with me on BitChute, Instagram, Rumble, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, so first off, if you don't have an Amazon account, it's going to make this a little bit more difficult. You can sign up. You can get an Amazon account for free. Uh, you can figure that out. Go to YouTube. Go to Amazon Seller. You'll get a free app on your phone where you can scan stuff, look stuff up on the go. You get access to Seller Central here. You'll have to get a postcard sent to your house. It takes a week or two, depending on how busy Amazon and the postal service is to get you uh, verified. But then for free, you can start selling products. They'll charge you 99 cents per product. Once you're selling 40 products a month, upgrade to the professional account, which is $39.99, because if you start selling 45 a month, they're charging you a dollar each. You're going to be spending $45 instead of 40 uh, but there's multiple ways to do that. There's what's called uh, retail arbitrage, where you can scan using the phone app in store, check out the ranking of the product, the profit of the product, everything on the go, and you can buy stuff in store in your local area. It doesn't even need to be discounted. In some cases, it just needs to be rare, where somebody online will pay a premium for that product because they can't get it in their that area. And you have to be willing to ship it to the customer or ship it to Amazon for Amazon to ship it to the customer. Uh, but then, let's see here what we got. You can start within a couple of months, we start receiving checks like this. If you see right here, I have $5,602 that I could request. This would get sent directly into my bank account if I distributed it. Um, but we're actually going to keep Amazon open here because I'm going to look for products to add not all products will be ungated. That's something that we'll talk about here. Ungating means that the brand owner gives you permission to sell them or Amazon gives you permission to sell them because you built a clean reputation. One thing that I do every day here is I go into my account health. I make sure that I don't have any issues to clean up. And then I go into my feedback manager, make sure I don't have any issues to clean up. If I don't have a five-star review, I look to see if it's actually a review about me or the product, and you can contest it. If I do have a five-star review, I leave them a little positive message, but I digress. So let's get into it. We're going to be doing Bulk by America. I found this website over on wholesalecentral.com, and this might be a little repetitive for those, but if this is your first video, I'm just going to bring it up. Wholesalecentral.com lets you find wholesalers that sell products. And they've actually got a section just for Amazon FBA. FBA stands for Fulfilled by Amazon. The other option is Fulfilled by Merchant, where you take the products, similar to the stuff that I have behind me here that you find locally. 
you label and ship them either to the to the individual or I'm going to actually ship them into Amazon and make them FBA. But once you click on this, you can find a bunch of wholesalers here that are willing to sell you products. I found Bulk Buy America there. Let me just log in really quickly. You can email me if you want. I'll make sure that I delete it immediately. But why I, why I'm bringing this up is because I want, once I find a product, I want to make sure that the, the spreadsheet's still good. So if you go to this website, you're going to click Download Inventory, and you're going to download this. The reason you you so you're going to want to find sites that either have XL. XLS or CSV files so that you can scan them using Analyzer tool. I did this the other day already. Uh, and this is why I'm making a part two because I let this spreadsheet scan already. Once you open their spreadsheet, let me pull it over here for you. You're going to want to make sure that you got these top categories scannable. So I'm looking here. These are all the ASIN called ASINs, which is the Amazon uh, internal numbers. It's the SKUs. So we're going to use that as the part number. So here's ASIN. Here's our price in column D. And then we're going to have an extra column. MOQ stands for minimum order quantity. We're going to just make sure that we know how many of these we have to buy. Once you save this, you will go in to analyze the tool. You'll start a new scan. You'll process that sheet. You'll... I renamed it Bulk by America uh, in the date from yesterday so that when it's in there, I can find it and I know what it was and I won't know when the last time I scanned this site. So you'll take the product ID is what we're going to use. What column that is, it's actually not in Amazon ASINs. It's actually in the ASIN aisle. We're going to use the price, and we want an extra one here, which would be maximum uh, minimum order quantity. You're going to check off enable premium data. This is going to take a little bit longer, but this is going to pull all the data that you would normally do manually. If you watch part one of this, that takes a little bit longer than letting the software do it for you. Then you would hit process. You would wait and you get an email when it's processed. And then by movie magic here, where's my, where's my phone? <laughs> we actually have this done already. So let me pop this up. Now, within these spreadsheets here, and let me just get a little sip of water here. As you know, if you watched me before, we don't do any editing here. This is all about... Ideas and knowledge, not about tech, drone shots, and music, okay? So I have a couple of different tiers. This particular one is 300% to 400% return on investment, and it goes all the way down to 10 to 24% in different tiers. So the first thing that I'm probably going to do is just make sure that all these have a minimum order quantity, which means they're in stock for the most part, or at least the spreadsheet tells us they are. And now we also know the return on investment here. There is a little box up here where you can move your columns around and adjust them. And then there's also, you can collect, how do I do, I forget how you, um, I forget how you add, maybe it's on the main page. There's also a way to add, uh, oh yeah, here it is. So if you do additional expenses, we have got inbound shipping of 75 cents per pound. It's getting pretty expensive right now because of um, because of the fuel prices and inflation. That's still much cheaper than if you were not to use Amazon's um, in-group preferences pricing. Prep fees, 55 cents usually for a label. I've already put that in per item. And then tax percentage. I'm in New Hampshire, so I won't be paying taxes. If you're just starting and you're in a state that does not have, um, that has sales tax, you'll be paying a sales tax, will be an added fee. 
In the future, you can open an LLC and then immediately go to the government website to get an EIN number. That EIN number you can give to Bulk Buy America, and then they won't charge you tax at checkout because sales tax in most states, with the exception of Massachusetts, California, and a few others, is a tax on the sale. It's a consumption. So whoever consumes the product pays the tax, the end buyer. Some t states treat it as an actual sales tax and not a consumption tax, but we won't get into that. All right, so once you have those extra fees in there, it's already going to work it out. And here's our first things to look through. So this this would be much faster. Obviously, I'd be already be into this if I wasn't explaining it to you. I'm just going to sort it by the highest percentage. And the reason you do this is because it's like, you're probably going to have some errors here. So why is this 2,851? Because it's got, it's cost zero. So if something actually costs zero, then. So what you can do is take this and go over to the best bulk America and check what it is. And they actually don't have a price. So. I guess this is something that's going to come out in the future. Who knows? But currently, it doesn't have a price. You got to list this somewhere. Uh, I don't really know where to list this. Do I have a thing? Normally, I would take this and I have these separate lists created. So once you put them in this list, if it comes up again on the software, you've already... You've already have it listed, so I'm gonna put this under. I'm gonna put this under email seller. I have a lot of different ones that I put under there. So if you have a question about packing size or whatever, you would go there. So this next one, same thing, it says that it's zero. Let's pull this up. Let's go to the website. Let's see if we can pull a price directly off the website. Seven to ten business days, shipping not included. So this is something that's going to break. I don't particularly deal with these. So I'm actually going to put this under not available, restricted. If you wanted to get into perfumes, you could. They go under hazardous materials and they break a lot. They're very expensive. So me personally, it's not something that I like to deal with. So I'm on to the next. And I know I'm kind of manually doing these, but it separated the ones without the prices for us. This one, again, I'm not sure why these are coming up as blanks. I'm going to take all these that are zero. But actually, let me just go through them real quick because maybe some of them have the, the price on there. But I'm not going to dive too much further than that. If it doesn't have a price, I'm going to put email. Backpack, shipping not included. So I'm just going to put email. Email again. All the way down to here. Where I'm going to email. So you can create different categories with this. You could put, you know... Forget about it, not priced. I could have made a new category, I guess, for these types of particular items. The reason I'm favoriting these is this is the way that I know that they're done. And this is the way that in the future they'll get pulled up uh, as already completed. So I don't have to do these two. These were done on another scan in the past. So next we have this is a 220. They're making 526% interest. This is, I mean, return on investment. This is pretty high. And if you see the average price is 16 and this is 23, I'm going to assume that the average prices for 90 days are always correct. And I always change these to make them a little bit high. That'll move it down the list and I'll deal with it later when it really should be. This is another one here. I'm going to put these at $12.99. That'll make it disappear. This particular one, let's see what it says. This is an IP alert, but I'm still going to take this IP alert and fix this pricing so it goes down the list. 
This is another IP alert. So this one's actually good pricing, but it's an IP alert. So here we go. Here's our first one that might be legit saying it's $29.50. Let's change that to $24.99 because these prices here, these average prices, these have all been pulled within the last 24 hours right off the Amazon site. So we just went through uh, a dozen plus products here in just a couple of seconds compared to if you started watching part one, how long it took us to manually go through those products. So now I'm going to move the tier and I'm going to look at stuff that are 201% to 300%. So now these are the ones that we've completed. And these are the new ones. I'm going to just sort from the top here. Again, I'm going to make sure that there's minimum order quantities on there. So I see that that's there. I've also, if I haven't mentioned this before, these are none of these have hazardous waste. So if they're marked excuse me, with Amazon as hazardous, which means like aerosol cans, glues, explosive, anything like that, Amazon is going to put them in a specific category. You can sell those, but it becomes a lot more work and you get limited space for items like that and you have to turn them over very quickly. So here we go. we got a couple new items here. 33 to 27, so I'm going to just turn this. I'm just going to put the correct prices in here so these move around. All right, this one's pretty close. This is saying they're 220 each, and I'm going to make 580, so that's 264%. So let's pull this up and see what it actually is on the Amazon website. All right, so this is a two-pack of Copper Tone uh, Sports Sunscreen. Now, my question with this right away is, is it set up as a two-pack or a one-pack on the Bulk Buy America? And currently, it is set up as a two-pack. So you're getting a two-pack for $220. So, they're not, so it wasn't an accident that that price was set up like that. If it was an accident, you could go in here and see how it says two. You could change that from a one to a two, so it double it would have to double that price. But it's currently you are getting a two pack for that two twenty, so that is legit. We're gonna go, and I just want to make sure real quick. I'm gonna go to my Amazon account, see if I can sell this product. And this product is not available. So Copper Tone Sports does not want competition. I'm guessing that either just them and Amazon get to sell it. So this person is probably. Uh, affiliated with them and has special privileges to sell that particular product. So not a problem. We go back here and we're going to put that under not available. Next, this is good pricing to 12 each, one each. Again, let's pull this up and see what it is. This is a variation listing. I'm not interested in big meltable variation listings like that. That's just me. If you wanted to take the time, there is money in those, but I think you can find better, better products with less confusion. Let's see again. Price is okay, but that was a variation. I don't like to deal with big variations. I'll show you how to do a variation listen in a second here. This price is good, $24.99 to make $50.50. Let's see what we got. Sunglasses, a small, small variation. They're Ray-Bans. I wonder, uh, Pit Viper, the original sales wide fit. Oh, so they're not Ray-Bans. What did it say in the front there? Oh, Pit Viper. All right, so let me see if I can sell Pit Vipers because I got a feeling I can't. All right, I can sell Pit Vipers. So let's go in and see. They sell 26 a day, seven eighty eight a month. Let's go down and look at the variation data here because we got four separate glasses. We want the purple ones, the dark purple ones, which is right here. They sell 23% of the time. So they sell say 788 a month. So let's get our calculator here. 788. 
and you come down here to the vi variations, 23 a month times, 23%, 181 a month of just that roughly. These are the reviews, so that's roughly the sales equal to the reviews. Now, I should have probably already checked this, but these are Pit Vipers sold by Pit Viper, which is probably a no-go because it's probably going to be a IP complaint. So this would be something that if you wanted to, you would go over to something like eBay. And let's go into my eBay, buying and selling eBay. And let's see if we can find a UPC for this. I don't see a UPC there. Let's go to the Amazon website, see if we can find a UPC. I don't see a UPC here. So I have to look it up by title. If you find a UPC, you can put that UPC into, into eBay. If you wanted to, you could sell these. It takes a little bit longer, but you could buy these, hold them, and sell them on eBay without issue. It looks like there's probably these purple ones right here. If we go, you want to go down to new items. And we want to go to sold. Completed sold. So those are the blue ones, and these are the purple ones. Maybe something like this. These are all back in August, so it doesn't look like they're selling a lot. That's probably them right there. That's probably them. So they're selling for like 48 but it doesn't look like they're selling a ton. These were as low as 18 and you'd be paying $24.99. So this doesn't look like something that's going to fly off the shelf on eBay, but you could since they're not available and there, if this is as popular on eBay as it is on Amazon. I'm not saying that you couldn't build a good listing, but I think it's a lot more work um, than it's worth than it's worth doing. So we check. We see this price is good. They see there's a 57 minimum order quantity at 370. That's pretty cheap. You pull it up. What are we looking at? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Basewood. Maybe this is for like model planes and stuff or woodworking. Okay. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Let's see what it sells. One, five units a month. So this is not selling a lot. So I just going to put uh, low ranking. And we're at, so we've looked through. So just to begin with, this particular software went through and looked for almost 3,000 items for us, right? That we didn't have to worry about going through manually. And then when we click on this, it's sorting them so we know which ones to look at first. And now we're going to drop it down to 200, 300. And that was all full. So now we're going to go to 100, 200% return. There's other, there's other percentages. These percentages that I've worked out is there is sites where you can purchase items that have that much ROI. Um, so that's why I go, I'm starting way up top and slowly working my working my way down. And if you can see, we got a couple items here that have already been checked off that we don't have to go to. The software is great, how it'll remember that. So we're just gonna go to the first star here. One thing you can also do is you can do this and put false. And this will only bring up ones that you haven't worked on yet. So we got a 200% here. This is a little bit crazy because it's saying they're selling for $20.99, but they have been selling for $8.77. So when it's so far off like that, I like to do some manual investigating myself. And so it looks like this is a rare lipstick or 
Looks like the current price is actually that high. But if we go down and look at the data from Keepa on this particular item, which is a particular color, which I probably wouldn't like because it's um, such a huge variation of colors here. But it was 12, it looks like it was about $12 over the past 80 days. So you would go in here and this would be closer to 12. And you can change that to, thought you could change that to 12. Oh, you can't change the average. You can change this into 12. And then it would fall way down, way down the list. So this average and this are pretty good. They're pretty close. So let's open this up and see what we're looking at. We got a 191% return on investment. We have multiple colors, multiple sizes, multiple variations, and it's sold by Amazon. So right off the bat, I just closed this down and I'm gonna put, you can, you can figure out whatever you wanna put. I'm just gonna put variations. And not all variations are bad, but more times than less, you can find a non-variation product like this, sold by Bare Minerals, and it's a Bare Minerals thing, so this is probably not that good because you have to compete against the owner. But let's just pull this up for a second and see what we got. Not available, that's what I assumed. And we're gonna go not available, restricted. Every time you mark one of these off, it's it's, you never have to see it again. So if it's on the spreadsheet for this company, this, the website continues to save that data for you, the, the, the uh, analyzer tool. And that way you are saving a lot of future time for yourself. All right, so what do we got here? Variation of a unicorn ball, I'm all set. We will find something, people. We will find something. We are 30 minutes in. No guarantees, but I think we'll find something. We normally find something. Uh. All right, this is close enough. That's pretty expensive. Minimum order quantity is 80. So I want to look at it. You guys probably want something a little bit less than that because we'd have to order 80 of them at around 140. Be $11,000, but it's claiming that it'd be 11,000 times 117% to make 13. So I would like to personally look at this and see what it is. Interesting. Pluggable technology, pluggable store. So it's sold by the owner. So I'm guessing that we're not allowed to sell it. We are, we could technically sell it. Let's see if anybody else does. Wow, there's 26 other people that sell it. A lot of them are used. Let's see. So it looks like it's got a, re a huge return. They have like a thousand in stock. We'd be competing against them. And if we go to the buy box statistics, let's see if anybody's ever competed with them in the buy box. In the existence of this, in the whole Amazon existence of this property, of this product. Come on, Keepa, let's go. I got people waiting. I got the whole internet and me waiting for you. Let's go, Keepa. Was doing doing this yesterday to me too. Don't they know I'm trying to make the contents for the peoples? The people wants the contents. There we go. Yeah, so they pretty much control the buy box here. This one person got one percent nine days ago. Um, I would say that this is probably not the not the best. It looks like we did have this one. No, it's it's 
it's all three of them. They've had different different listings over time. So this is a, a dangerous listing to get onto. So we're gonna put this as a IP warning and go on to the next 3888. It's claiming that it's currently 52. I'm gonna put it at 3899. It looks like we're gonna to have to drop it down into 70 to 100 percent. We're getting some more here. We're going to no favorites. That's going to make it a little bit easier. And the same thing, $64.99. Now, you can click on the ones that are way off and investigate yourself. Like this is 10 and 20 because this could be a rare item that's currently like going out of stock. They can't find it. So the price is really high. That's usually not going to last long or it's not sustainable. Uh, for me, I'm looking for sustainable partic items in particular. That's just uh, how I like to do it. Uh, 27. What do we got here? Let's look at this one. It's so it's so far off. Yeah. It's something that's just out of stock. All right. So these are pretty close right here. Sporting goods outdoors. Got to buy 135 of them. Oh, but the cost is zero. So what's going on? What's going on here? Let's see if we can find this price. It's not even worth it. I'm just going to put IP complaint. We are 31 minutes in. We haven't made any money yet. So people are probably screaming, this is boring. What are you doing? It's better than roofing in July, I'll tell you. Okay? Better than roofing in July. And I'm going to mark this as IP complaint. These are similar in price. Let's see what we got. All right. These are sold by Amazon. Anybody else on the listing? There is some other people on the listing. So the first thing I usually do when I see something being sold by Amazon, there's only 85 a month. So even if we could get it, we'd be splitting it with Amazon. We'd be getting 40 a month. And we have to buy 40. So we have to we only have to buy a month supply. So that's not too bad. Immediately I'm just gonna go down and look at the data and I'm gonna look at the buy box statistics. I wanna see if Amazon is ever in the kindness of their hearts found a place where they could share it with somebody. And currently they've never shared the buy box. We can look now at past offers. We're gonna look at prime, free shipping, FBA only, and we can include historical offers. It looks like in the past they have, have they shared the buy box? It says, no, it doesn't even look like they've shared it in the past. So this is something that Amazon has a lot of control of. America Sunshine sold seven of them at one, once upon a time. But currently no one else has really got in there. So whatever this is, uh, it's to make a workbench. Amazon has this on lockdown. They have 35 in stock, but that doesn't mean that they're showing us everything. Other people are, are selling them, but they're shipping them in as need be. Me personally, I'm going to stay away from this. I'm going to put this one in there as Amazon dominated and move on to the next. These are 150 bucks each. They're pet supplies. People love their pets, so I'm going to click on this. This is interesting variation here. It's by Zappa. It's not sold by Zappa. So this is one, two, three, four. This is a little difficult. So this is an 80 by 80 by 36 in blue. I actually don't mind this, even though it's a variation. Let me just find out here what's going on. Let me make sure they're selling a lot. I assume they are. No, 110 a month. 
one ten a month. They're not selling that much, but let's just look and see what the top ones are. The top ones is not that. These are the those are the which ones are we looking at for? We're looking at the eighty by eighty by thirty six in blue, which is way down here. Which is less than one percent a month. So they sell le of that small amount a month. They sell very little. So low ranking. Too bad. Let's change this to twenty two ninety nine. I'll probably drop it down. Those are very similar. Hydro Boost. I've seen this in a lot of places. It sells quickly. It's made by Neutrogena. This particular person is not the only one selling it. How many people are selling it on Amazon? So we got six, seven. We would make eight. And it sells quite a bit a month. Is there a variation? No. So we're looking at 5,400 divided by nine, including us. We could sell 600 of these a month. All right. Now we're talking. This is when... This, now, don't get your hopes up. This is probably going to be a failure. But this is when your mind should snap and be like, look at that. It sells a lot a month. The first thing I want to make sure is I'm ungated in it before I get too excited. So we're going to put this in your product and see if you can add it. I cannot add it. See? Not available. So this means those people have special privileges in order to sell it. <sighs> All right. So... We're going to label this not. Bam. Next one. We're almost there. I'm telling you. This spreadsheet's going to have one thing. Sorry, your payment method probably has declined. I don't know what that means. I got I got plenty of money, people. What, what's your problem? I'm definitely not doing this on, on air in front of the whole world. Uh, let's see here. Dial soap three pack. And this is a oh, six pack. Peanuts Pantry, Brand Dial. I think I'm unlocked in Dial. So let's go here to add it. Make sure I'm unlocked in Dial. I am. Sell 75 a month. Is there anybody FBA? No, maybe because they're heavy. And let's look at which one sells, the six-pack or the one-pack for the variations. The six-pack sells 53% of the time, so 75 divided by two, so around 35 of these, 30 of these a month, but we'd have to split them. I'm not interested. Let's just go and put... Uh, I guess it's low... I'm going to put low ranking. Next, 35. I'm going on to the next, 99.99. Okay. Makes almost 100% return in beauty. Let's see if we actually get. So Amazon is selling these first off. There's four different ones. So let's just see. It's Con Air in the Con Air store. It's being sold by only Amazon. Let's go in here and see if we're engaged in it. We currently are. It's ranked pretty well. It is selling 84 units. Let's just check to see if Amazon shares the buy box. How many would we have to buy? Minimum order quantity is 407, so it doesn't sell enough. We're going to switch this over to high minimum order quantity, and we're on to the next. Now, even if we don't find anything today, even if we end up uh, just we go through this whole spreadsheet, we never find anything, I hope that you're mentally learning the repetitive technique here by me doing it over and over again, how you're checking the ranking, how you're problem solving, how you're looking for profit, how you're looking for pretty much uh, a demand in the market using these AI tools to your advantage um, and 
analyzer tool and seeing how much time you're cutting down. Now, I'm speaking to you guys. We're about 40 minutes in, but I would have already been done with this spreadsheet in 30 minutes. So if I could find any profit in there in 30 minutes, it's going to be a minimum of 100, 200 bucks. Uh, then I'm just going to purchase it, ship it out, and then maintain it for 15 minutes every morning with the rest of my inventory. Can you see how profitable this is? Uh, of, a, of a business when you are using other people's systems you're using the amazon system the the rating systems and all those stuff in tangent so that you have manpower that's not you it's not you exchanging your time and effort for an hourly hourly income but back here let's look at this next product this is revlon not sure i can sell revlon I'm not sure anybody can sell revlon Let's look. Apply to sell. Okay, this is good that this came up. So sometimes you're going to get the ability to sell it, maybe. So I'm going to apply to sell. It says you need to get approval in a red brand. Okay, I'm going to request the approval. And it's going to say, this is what you're trying to get. When you see this orange over here, sometimes there's one, two, or three of them on the right side of the screen, right above, right above my head here. This will tell you what you need. So I need to be ungated in Revlon. How do we do this? It's saying at least one purchase invoice or one letter from Revlon. So if I were to buy this particular product, if it was profitable, Bulk Buy America is going to give me a either a bill of lading in an invoice. I'm going to then take that invoice and I'm going to send it to Amazon via this window here and they're going to give me hopefully the ability to sell it this is a pretty big risk because if that invoice doesn't work if amazon just doesn't feel like doing it the ai doesn't push it through you're stuck with 20 uh 2200 worth of inventory so you're better off trying to find smaller bundles of revlon to buy to get ungated but this is how you figure something out when you are gated. This particular brand says Revlon. Sometimes it would say like Revlon brand, and number two would be like over the counter or OTC. And you need to unlock it by submitting invoices for different products for different for different reasons. But we're gonna go back to here and I'm going to put that I am gated in Revlon. Uh, I actually probably should have checked that because. I could get ungated and then maybe that was super profitable. But anyways, back to the tool here. This is close enough. Let's open it up. It's the same thing as before. It's the plug portable. They're selling their own technology. I'm going to put IP complaint. Your categories may be very different than mine based on what you're, you're discriminating against. That one's the same company again. We're gonna put IP complaint. If I just go, I'm gonna go back to here for a second and I'm gonna go, so we're all the way down to 40, 69% and we're gonna go to false. So here, the profit is starting to get more reasonable. You're getting a 70% return on a $12 item. You're making eight bucks. So these items are probably going to be, there's going to be more of them, obviously, but they're going to be more realistic that you'll probably find something profitable in here. Also, if you notice here in this category, right, for example, if your insurance didn't cover pet supplies, you could click on something like this and you can go to does not contain and you could type pet supplies in there and it'll take all those off the list, all those off the list for you. Anything you didn't want to look, look for. All right. Here's a swing. Not too bad. Not too shabby. It's being sold by one person that doesn't make it. Barrett Works LLC, Junior Kingdom. They sell 40 a month. Let's see if it's open to the public. It is open to the public. Let's go back here. This looks pretty good.
This might be our first winner, folks. They make 40 a month. We'd be splitting it with one other person. I just want to make sure of one thing here. If you look, if you're not getting an IP complaint and it's not the same company, but you go into this data box here and you look at the uh, the offers and the buy box statistics, when Keepa loads them, thank you very much, Keepa, and you include historical things, you can see that multiple companies have sold this in the past. And if if that's the case, and then you look at the buy box statistics... Currently, they only have, have it. But if you look at the offers in the past, other people have, have sold this. And if you look at the historical prices, you can see that multiple people have been in here. So I want to go into um, all. It looks pretty good. I've never seen Amazon on it. Okay, so now it sells for $49.99. Which is roughly what it just said there. Let's go to their site here. Let's see what we get. They're only twelve dollars a piece. We have to buy one hundred and forty-four of them. So if we bought one hundred and forty-four times twelve, which would be cost us. About $1,800 with shipping or whatever, right? But we have to buy 144 They sell 40 a month. Here's where the problem comes in. We're splitting it with one person. It would be 20 a month. So if we had to buy 144 and we divided by that by 20 that's 7.2 months. So do you really want to hold this item for 7.2 months? That's when you come up here and you think to yourself, well, I'm going to invest that money. How much are I going to make back? You're going to make back approximately 68%. So for every $12 you spend, you're going to make $8 over seven months. So you got 144 times 12. Or you could, do, you could do this. You could do the $8 profit times 144 of them. So you'd be making... $1,152 divided by seven months. This product would make you $164 a month for seven months. I don't hate this item. I'm going to actually add this to my cart and look at it later. So I just hit this, continue shopping. This is now in my cart. I'm going to take it under analyzer tools. It makes 64, 68% return on investment. So I'm going to go here and I have a uh, in between it's 40, 69 or 70 to 100. I'm going to say that it's 40 to 69% after shipping. And I'm going to add that as a possible find it's in my cart. Now, when I go to here and I have all these, this is where I'm actually putting this stuff. And I were to go in here, I have 25 items where I can make uh, I have 25 items in here that all make roughly that percentage. And now it's added to that list of things that I can find. So when I'm looking for a new item, and I actually can put that in here. Come on. So this is the particular item that I can find at any point now when I want it. And I know that that item is got, how many of those that they got in stock? They got 720 in stock, 144 minimum buy. But if I bought those, like I said, it'd be seven months worth of inventory that's trickling in. Uh, one, 164, what did he say, a month? 164 a month minus like fees and returns and stuff like that. But... You're making 68.24% back on your money. This this is what I want you to comprehend. Let me get a sip because I'm about to go on a, rant, a little rant here.
you you have a paycheck. You have a credit card. You have an hourly, you have a set amount of time. You go out and you work. You make those dollars, right? We've been here for 50 minutes now, and I just found a generated income of 164 a month for the next seven months with this one transaction. I'm going to take money that I've already used, I've already spent my time, energy, my health, my livelihood to make income. Now I'm going to invest this in this product here for the next seven months. And at the end of that seven months, it's going to make me 60 for every $100 I spend, it's going to make me $68. Think about it that way. So if, if you worked for $100 all day today, and I said, if you give me that and you wait seven months, I'll give you back 168 and you don't have to do anything but let me borrow it. Would you do that? That's the mindset that you have to get yourself in because now you're exchanging your pastime that you have IOU currencies for. You're investing them in these products that people want. The difficulty in which it is to find them that they want them for gives you a profit between what you pay. This particular prop product here is $12, but people are willing to pay 50 for it when it's delivered to their house. And you're going to take, for every dollar, you're making 68 cents. For every $100, you're making $68. For every $1,000, you're making $680. If you put your money in a bank and you're getting paid interest, maybe with some of the stuff like Robinhood and stuff like that and a high interest yield savings account that you can't touch, you're making 5%. This is going to make you... 68%. Granted, it's going to take you a little bit to go. And you might be able to speed up and take some more of those sales if you were able to lower the, your price a little bit. Say you only wanted to make 50, uh, 50 cents per dollar, $50 per hundred, 50% return on investment. That's still huge. That's a still huge. So I just want you to think about that for a second and that that, that power that you have when you when you start looking at business as an, an investment in your time. All right, let's get back into it. Rant, rant over. So 40 to 69, these are all finished. We're going to go to below that. We're going to go to 25 to 30. Those are all filled. We're going to go all the way down to 10 to 24%. And those are all full. Okay, so... Am I reading this correctly? Let's go to let's go to standard view here for a second. And let's go to false. Okay, so we have gone through we have gone through all this data. Let me just do this one more time. Okay. Okay, good. So we haven't gone through it all. That's what I thought. So now we're going to go through 25 to 30 percent. Let's just do 40 to 69 one more time to see if we have any left. We do. All right. Let's go up to 70 to 100 to see if we have any left. We don't. These are filled in. Okay, perfect. I don't know. I must have had something else checked off. So we're going to go down to 40 to 69. And we're going to go to false. And this is going to show us all the stuff that we have left over, and I'm going to sort it by return on investment. Remember, we have the minimum order quantity here. So actually, rather than go through the rest of this, it's going to be very repetitive. We found the one item here. Actually, let me just pull it up for a second. We found this swing. We went through and did the work. I showed you how within... Under an hour, I was able to make, uh, I don't know what you would call it, because in the end, we're going to be making 164 times 7. It's going to be a th you know $1,200, $1,000 in under an hour, but you're going to get that in $164 chunks over the next seven months if this is something that you wanted to do. 
I'm going to do, I'm going to hang up this video here. I'm going to get some water. I'm going to relax. And I'm going to do another spreadsheet and I'm going to upload another one of these. But can you see the power of this tool, the power of Amazon, the power of ex instead of exchanging your time for money, exchanging your skill set for money, taking the skills that you've learned, the techniques, using them with tools and use them within a system and then taking that system to generate wealth, how that's a better way to manage your life. You get some income to, be, to begin with and you figure out a way to invest those dollars so they're out working for you instead of you out working for dollars. And that's what we're doing here with Amazon selling and the analyzer tools. So if you like this video, please like it below. Please comment below. Uh, please ask me questions below. Remember, if you're starting this and you have questions, let me know. I'll make some more videos. This is the tool right here. It's called Analyzer Tools. You can use for a discount. This up top here that I'm using, this is called Jungle Scout. You can check this tool out here. You can get the free versions. You don't need to pay for them at first. You have to pay for Analyzer Tools, but you can get free Jungle Scout at first. Free Keep at first. Keep is... These graphs down here that let you check to the, the selling and tracking of the product. And together, this all works for you to try to become independently wealthy. And by independently wealthy, I don't mean that you're a multi, necessarily a multimillionaire with a yacht and stuff. Independently mean you can pay your bills uh, and relax and you have gen income generating that you can step back and your expenses are covered and you're like mentally able to be independent in the next move of, of what you have and will work you towards maybe some DeFi projects in the future. I have some DeFi projects that I don't touch and they generate enough income for me on a monthly basis that they cover all my expenses. I don't have to touch them. I go in the morning, I look at them a little bit, I collect some fees, I move, and move them around and my entire... Um, my all my expenses are paid paid for those so you can look at those in some of the other videos but i think i've mumbled, mumbled and talked enough thank you so much also check out my philosophy web web channel dave Wright the thinker and i appreciate it as always tuning in um hopefully this guy's helped helped you guys and you got some value so thank you so much